Hi everyone, welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. I'm Tammy, and I just thought a little bit different tonight. I would come on and share a little bit of my home with you and show you a little bit of my tree and uh, a little bit of Christmas with all of you out there and just some little special things that I wanted to share with you. So my husband is going to uh, take the camera and I'm going to show you some special things on the tree. One second. So this is my tree, my beautiful tree. And I'll let him film the rest. As you can see, we have beautiful lights on the ceiling. If I back up here. They run, we have like a tray ceiling and uh, they're all inside the ceiling and we actually put them up at Christmas two years ago. It's all one strand of lights and we decided that we wanted to just leave them up. They're absolutely gorgeous. So they stay up all year round and um, it's absolutely beautiful and cozy in the evening. So I'll just give you a little look around first of everything lit up. These are the stockings that I made last year for all of us and I put everybody's name on them. And this is the beautiful nativity scene. It's hard to see there. Oh, there you go. And so I'm just going to, and there's, oh, the CEO down there watching the tree. So I'm going to hand this to my husband and he is going to show you. So our tree is all made up of beautiful ornaments that are all pretty much homemade but very sentimental. There's everything on here from like this little one right here. It is about 20 years old. And as you can see, that used to be a candy cane, but it is all dried up and there's nothing left but plastic. This was a reindeer and now the ear is gone. And uh, my son made that and I don't have the heart to throw it away. So every year that goes on the tree. And this was a gingerbread man that he had cut out and uh, some of the stars have come off in the face, but it's beautiful to me. So every year that goes on. Oh, and there goes the uh, reindeer. So we put those on the tree every year. And uh, there's a Santa here from my daughter that she had made back here that she cut out of paper. There are these wooden ornaments that this is Nova Scotia where we live and it shows Halifax where we live. And I have one over here of Newfoundland and this is Gander where my son lives. And then up here is a beautiful boxer ornament. And that is my, this is Cruise Paw print. We put that there every year. Oh, 
Right next to it is our first cat, Shadow. Um, he's he was he was our first pet that we had together, and uh, he was a great great cat. And so that's his paw print. And this is our first picture from our wedding. That's our wedding picture up there. Somebody made that for us. And I have an ornament down here with my granddaughter in it that she gave, gave me last year. A beautiful picture of her inside. I'm sure everybody's seen her in previous videos that she stole the show. And this is an ornament here that I made last year. And I drew those on there of <laughs> myself and Jason. And uh, I made one for everyone in the building that we all went to dinner. And we had a lot of fun. Some of the people have passed away <sighs> but um, we had a lot of fun and there's another one of my granddaughter and we have her Aubrey's first Christmas that was her first ornament and then I will show you my husband's favorite Oh, there he is, a little hockey player, because he plays hockey and he's a little nuts, and it's actually made out of a walnut and a hazelnut, and his favorite ornament on the tree is that Superman that's flying out of the tree there. It bears a striking, striking resemblance. <laughs> and then we have all kinds of beautiful older ornaments that like that one right there that he's showing and uh, one things about these like this one here this beautiful little uh, Santa when my mother was alive she uh, got me an ornament every year and when she passed away, um, my sister gave me a box of ornaments for every year that she had bought me an ornament. Um, there was a box of probably about 40 ornaments. Now, my mother and I weren't that close. However, having that box of ornaments really meant something to me because I get to look every year at all these ornaments that she she saved for me so it means a lot um, these little and of course my firefighter which I have to have uh, a firefighter um, ornament this is one that Jason actually bought me last year. It's a s'more, and he's actually a marshmallow firefighter, and he's standing on a graham cracker and then a piece of chocolate, and, uh, of course, he melts my heart. <laughs> and this one here is um, a beautiful little ornament that's very easy to make. It's just one of those glass ornaments that you can fill and I just took uh, pieces of musical uh, design paper and took them and curled it up and put them inside and tied a bow on the top and it made a beautiful little ornament. So that goes to show you that you can take little ornaments like that and just make them yourself. There's ornaments on here from beautiful friends that have gifted me like this little one here with a boxer on the back of a truck that uh, 007 Bond Girl gave me. And she gave me this one just recently. And the little camper. And 
this beautiful reindeer down here was a gift from Jason's parents. And I just love all these beautiful ones. I loved having the um, music on like we're listening right now and just watching the lights and all the ornaments on the tree. And inside the tree, Jason will show you that there's a beautiful bird's nest and you can see two beautiful uh, birds right inside. And they say that having a bird's nest in your tree is supposed to be good luck. So I hope that, that it really brings good luck. And I have all this uh, red beads. They're actually wooden beads that uh, go all the way around the tree. And uh, I find that it really makes it look home, homey looking and um, very classic looking. There's not too much on the tree. There's little um, uh, sprigs of gold and red in there and Everybody's tree looks so different and that's what that's what makes it fantastic. And this is this is our tree. And so I just thought I would share this with you and I hope that you're enjoying seeing a little bit of our Christmas. So I hope that you have enjoyed looking a little bit at our tree and a little bit of our Christmas. And I um, just want to send out oh, many prayers to um, Pat, who is um, in the hospital right now, and um, to all the of our friends that um, need prayers over this holiday season. Um, we just send best wishes and we just want everybody to have a wonderful Christmas, wonderful holiday. We want to get better from all these COVID going around. And I just wanted to bring a little bit of happiness and smile to everybody. I hope that you just enjoyed just taking a couple minutes and looking at my tree, um, just being with me for a couple seconds. So I, um, I'll talk to you real soon. And Merry Christmas from Jason and I. Bye-bye.